Hello, and welcome to Nest of Guidance. I'm Robin, and today I have a Tarot Talks pick a card reading for you with a little bit of a twist. There's no general message from the universe, your guides, or any particular aspect of your life in this reading. It is still gaining the message solely from what the cards themselves say. But this little bit of a twist is that I've set each deck of cards I'm using in this reading with a little bit of a different intention for each deck. So each each message, each pile, will, each set of cards will have a, a separate meaning to go with them that might all blend together. And with that, if you know your pile, if you know which one you want to choose already from one, two, three, and four, then be my guest and hop down into the description where those will be. If you've never received a pick a card reading before, let me just tell you that we do not use reverse meanings in our tarot readings here at Nest of Guidance. So if you see me flip up a card to be upright, it's just because I don't use the reverse meaning. Also that none of these readings that I provide, that anyone else provide, even if you provide readings for your own self, are ever set in stone. So if you receive a card and it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't feel right, you don't have to go down that path or follow the guidance that that card is showing you at that time. You have the power within any moment to change the timeline just as easy as you can change your mind. So with that, we have pile one here with the Shiba, it's either Shiga, Shiba Liang or Shiba Lingang. I never remember how to pronounce this one. But there you go, pile one. Pile two, we have the citrine. Pile three over here, we have the rose quartz. And pile four, we have the citrine, or sorry, the carnelian. All right, those are the piles we have for you. There'll be a link to each pile in the description of the video down below. I'll see you guys in each video. If you're choosing pile one, hang out just a second longer because that reading is about to begin right now. All right, pile one, my Shiva Liang friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's see what message messages we have for you with tarot today. In this envelope I have a double-sided self self-care card that I'll get into in just a second. Just put it up there for now. All right so we have two tarot decks and an oracle card here. Let's start with these two tarot cards. We have, ooh wow Wow, what a message. We have the Ten of Swords and the World. This is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords talks about something is coming to its finale, to its final ending. And this could be something within your physical world, a, a connection. This could also be a way of thinking, a way of acting, a way of perceiving the world that's just been, been hanging on you and now you're finally cutting that cord. You're throwing that QA, and as soon as you make that action, come to that commitment of throwing that away, it just poofs from existence. So there's no temptation of going back and opening that door or reconnecting that, that programming or that connection again, because what connected you to that thing, that perception, that way of thinking, that action, that being is gone from you forever. And it might feel heavy, as you watch all those birds, all those connections, thoughts, perceptions fly away. But beyond that, there's a beautiful, bright, open horizon and new possibility. And then we have another amazing card of things coming to their complete close. We have the world. And the world is a card that it's the end of the major arcana in all of tarot decks, and it's a card that is everything's coming to its natural complete close. Everything's perfectly ending. The cycle is beautifully complete. This is an ending that leaves you feeling whole, feeling 
satisfied, feeling like you can move on to the next chapter, next phase of your life with the openness of the horizon beyond you and whatever you needed to end behind you fully in both directions. It's really the fairy tale, the fairy tale ending card because it's they lived happily ever after, they defeated all the evil, they got married and lived in their castle. That's the type of the ending. The energy I feel from this card is always the ending that is at the end of a fairy tale or a story where you're just like, oh, that ended so well. That's what the world card is. So we begin this message from these two cards of something is definitely coming to an end potentially for you, group one, because we have the Ten of Swords, which is an ending that might feel kind of tense, but then we have the world, which is a huge, massive closing of a chapter, ending of a cycle in a beautiful, perfect, harmonized way. And then we have these two tarot cards, which are really interesting because they're, they're this, the, this tarot deck is meant to be used almost, or its intention is to be used for the daily moment, not to read into the future. So the message for this pile is whatever infinite changeable energy is surrounding you in this present moment as you're watching this. And then we have, wow, we have playful, playfulness and we have guidance. The energy of playfulness, sparks, magic, light, cheer, energy of playfulness is surrounding you right now and it's if you're not feeling like you're in this presence you can you can, I just saw this image in my head of like just going and standing in front of the mirror and making like silly faces at yourself in the mirror not to like make fun of yourself do it from a place of lightheartedness and lovingness but just to have fun just to like loosen up you know so if this ending is making you feel the way down there's things you can do to connect to your child energy your divine child energy that always wants to play, always wants to have fun, and always wants to adventure. And maybe, maybe just going over to a mirror and making some funny faces at yourself in the mirror is, is a step in the direction of connecting to that childish, fun, adventurous energy. And then we have guidance. And guidance is a beautiful card because it's this soaring, soaring energy, this soaring magic around you. It's also connected to, it has the rainbow as its minor arcana suit, which is connected to miracles, and it's also connected to the physical realm, the tangible earth, because rainbows is connected to pentacles and the uh, usual tarot. And it's just like, even if there's a part of you that feels like you don't want to let go, you just gotta let, let what needs to soar, soar. You know, just let need, what needs to have wings to fly, needs to fly, is the message that I'm saving from this card. Even if it feels like it might be flying away without you, there's still all that vast open sky waiting for you. Okay. And then, I'll just shimmy this up here, we have the Work Your Light card, Oracle card here, and we have the card of Lumeria, beautiful. And it says on the card, Creation, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. And Lumeria was this zoological continent that got overthrown by this huge tidal wave and it sunk into the ocean and it was a place of luxury and abundance and beauty and light, light beings galore and just divinely, like a divine creation place on earth and, and it was a heaven on earth so this is saying that it's happening for you and maybe this release is something that is is, is needed for this heaven on earth to be created for you and it is happening for you it says itself 
on the card that's happening. So you can trust that it's happening. And I mean, this kind of looks like it could be sparking magic. So just trust that it's happening for you and that you can release what needs to be released and that this action is creating heaven on earth for you. All right, and then we have, we'll go into this one and then I do have one other deck I wanna dip into. So we have your self care card of good girl, no more. Power, amazing. And on the back it says, the ability to suck it up is not a superpower. Saying no is own your power. So this is giving me vibes like maybe potentially group one. You are, some of you maybe are the ones that are feeling like I need to soar, I need to fly. And to be able to fly, you gotta cut the cords that are tying you down. And then when you're when you when you're able to do that, you can fly with playful energy. You know, spread your wings and maybe share your guidance with other people. And when you allow your your body to be elevated, your spirit, your energy, be, your energy to be elevated, then you rise above, elevate into another frequency, another vibration, come closer to creating that heaven. Pile one, so sorry, my memory cut out on, my memory card cut out in you. It seems to think it is a lot smaller than it is. And actually that might resonate with some of you if you're feeling like one of the things you're trying to let go of right now is feeling small. Know that you are so powerful and you don't have to people please for anyone. You don't have to suck it up for anyone. You don't have to just say yes to everyone around you. You have the power to say no. You have it. You are worthy of creating boundaries and cutting off things that are bad for you, things that don't serve your highest good, people that don't serve your highest good, and that you can move forward with creating your own heaven on earth right now and setting those firm foundations so that it can grow and flourish. And with that, I'm just going to pull one more card. This is a fairy tarot deck, and I like to, I like to use this tarot deck to, to just almost just use the writing on the, the, the phrase that's on the card as a direct message from fairies, angels, unicorns, fairies in this case. So I'm just gonna shuffle it and see what message the fairy kingdom has for you, pile one. Ooh, that's this one. Oh, yeah, that's definitely that one. <laughs> oh, there's two, bonus. Ooh, so we have the fairy message of plan, plan your next step with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There is more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. And then we have over here, the second card, wow, the Emperor coming up for us today. Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. Wow. There you have it, pile one. You can release what needs to be released. Let playfulness guide you back into creating your own heaven, step into your power and put those boundaries up where you need to, and know that what is about to come next is going to be beautiful and amazing and magical for you, and it might put you in some sort of leadership role where you can rule your life and that around you from a place of love and compassion and structure and stability. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment if you feel called to. 
and I'll see you guys next time at the other end of my tarot table. Namaste. Hello, pile number two, my citrine friends. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Let's get into this Tarot Talks message for you. And here I have a self-care card that is double-sided and we'll get into it in just a moment. I'm just gonna put it aside for now. And then I have four tarot cards and an oracle card here for you. All right. Let us begin with these two tarot cards. Ooh, the tower and the hanged man. That is a powerful message. So we begin with the tower. And the tower is an energy that feels very catastrophic. It is, it is a situation, it is an experience, it is an energy where what you've built up is falling down and crumbling all around you and it may feel like you're falling from the top of it as it's crumbling around you and by the time you get to ground level from that fall that crumbling it can feel like you have nothing left around you but 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 rocks and garbage and useless things but the secret of the tower card is that what you really have surrounding you pile too in those moments if you feel like you're going through one of those moments as you're watching this is that those are building blocks surrounding you it's it's like what you had built before might not have been built on the strongest and most stable of foundation so it had to come down and that can be really hard and painful to experience especially if it's coming out of the blue or unknown but then but when it does fall and has hit the ground finally, what surrounds you is beautiful building blocks that had to be made from that old thing that didn't work. And then you get to take those building blocks and you can rebuild what had fallen, what didn't work the first time, but build it better, build it stronger, build it on a proper goods foundation, or you could build something completely new and it's almost a tribute type energy to what had to fall so that something new could be rot, rise from the from the from the grave is what my brain wanted to say rise from the ground and from there we have the hanged man which is a beautiful card as well and the hanged man is a card that talks about being in divine flow with the universe and seeing things from a whole new perspective, feeling things from a whole new perspective and open-heartedness and open-mindedness. And in this state of being in deep flow with the universe, you're in a place of surrender. She is in a place of surrender. She is suspended above the ground. Only her fingertip is touching, but she's still connected to all that magic at the bottom. So, even though things may feel like they're falling apart around you right now, use this time if you're able to just breathe, be still, surrender to what the situation is, and allow your heart and your mind to be open so you can allow yourself to see all the beautiful new possibilities surrounding you and be in that connected flow with the universe. And then we have these two tarot cards which will tell you what infinite and changeable energies are surrounding you at this time. And we have, ooh, the source that is incredible and also experiencing, wow, what a beautiful message. So we start with the literal source, the, the heart of all creation, all life, all existence, all that ever will be and ever is, comes from source, the source. And she is definitely connected to the source. And when we're in this state of surrender and connection and flow with 
the source after experiencing something like maybe we thought we had this lush, beautiful forest of prosperity around us that we've built up and grown and then it's fallen but some of it still may remain and you can choose to experience and connect and to be just be present with what is surrounding you what is still there what you can still connect to and be a part of and you don't have to interact with it there doesn't have to be any action any just be be you in your present self experiencing what you need to as it is present for you and then from there we have the work your light oracle deck to, saw, to see how you might be able to work your own light into this situation, into this message, and into your life. And we have the, the card of take a break. Life, a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So I feel like there might be a little bit of over working, working yourself to the point of exhaustion, maybe a point of sickness, maybe from this where it's like you've worked and you've worked and you've worked and you've worked and you've just gone and gone, 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 over and over and over nonstop. But then you can reach a point where when you go for so long, something's got to give. And sometimes that something is our own physical bodies, our own well-being, our own health. Sometimes it's our connection to others. Sometimes it's our mind. And so really the only way to recover from overworking yourself and burning out is to take that stillness with intention. Take a break and allow yourself to recover reclaim your own personal source of energy. This also reminds me of the solar plexus, which is like right here, it's your personal powerhouse. If you could have a sun in your body to power you, that's what your solar plexus is. And in this state of rest, while you take a break, you get to experience life from a place that isn't rushed, that a place that isn't, that isn't so go, go, go. You can take your time really connect to your present moment. Connect to your life and everything around you in a slow, intentional way. Okay, and then we have your self-care card. And that is the self-care card of friend. And it says, be as good a friend to yourself as you are to others. Wow. Let me ask you something, group, group two. If one of your friends, one of those people that you love, like family, were in this type of situation that you may be feeling you're going through right now, and they just had to keep, felt like they just had to keep going even though it might be wearing on them in a really harmful way would you be like no take a break rest take care of yourself you're most important or would you be like yeah keep going you're almost there who cares if you're sick who cares if you're not well who cares if you're feeling down or heavy energy inside you just go 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 you can be that supportive loving nurturing healing friend to yourself to your own energy supply and to your own well-being and then when you when you step into that energy of i am my own best friend an ambulance is going by right now and that just seems like a prominent um message so please take care of yourself love yourself like you love your friends and your family and allow your body to rest and recover and heal. Rest into the flow with the universe and connect to your source. 
Right, and then the last thing I'm going to do for you, group two, is I have this fairy tarot deck that has little phrases and messages written on the bottom of each card, and that's how I like to use these decks, is just to see what direct message the fairies have for you. So let me tune into that for you. that wanted to come out and play too. Ooh, wow. So we have here the Ace of Winter. And the Ace of Winter says, don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It is important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be implemented. So I wonder if you allow yourself this break, what, and this time to rest and just be what beautiful new ideas will spring up in your mind when you give yourself that time to pause and just be open. And then we have the other fairy card here of the king of winter and it says, it says, knowledge, experience, fair-minded and unemotional. Get advice from someone professional and objective, public speaking, and unemotional relationships. What I perceive from this message is that there might be someone in your life potentially fueling this on for you, maybe. And and when it says unemotional relationships, it doesn't mean cold or it doesn't mean cold hearted. It means find someone or maybe you have someone in your life already who can be very succinct with you, very on point, very, very much. It gives you the information and what you need to hear, regardless of if it is not what you want to hear, if that makes sense. It's not someone who's going to beat around the bush and sugarcoat things and tell you what you want to hear, even though that might not be in your highest good. That is what it means by unemotional uh, relationship or counselor. It's not cold-hearted, it's not mean, it's not callous. It's just sometimes the best advice we can give ourselves and each other is not what we want to hear, but it's what we need to hear. And that is what I'm receiving from that for you. So allow yourself to just be as something falls away from you and just be present in the moment, know you're surrounded by building blocks and not just broken stones. And from there you can be still and be present to connect with source, experience your life in a whole new way from a different complete perspective, from being a place of present. Allow this break, even though it might have been put upon you from the situation, to rest, be that nurturing friend to yourself that you are to others and know that in this time of rest, it is important to communicate clearly, express your ideas clearly, and let new ideas come to you, and seek out those who can give you the, the sound advice you need to hear to move forward and to grow and to heal. That someone who is um, prone to sugarcoating information may not be able to provide for you. That is my reading for you, group two. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you feel called to, and I will see you in my next video. It was a pleasure to have you at the end of my tarot table. Thank you very much. Namaste. Hello, Pile 3, my Rose Quartz friends. How are you doing today? Thank you for tuning in. Let's get into your Tarot Talks message. I have four tarot cards and an oracle card, and in here I have a self-care card that is double-sided, so we'll get into that a little later. Let's start with the cards we have here. <coughs> Excuse me. We have these tarot cards, which we'll deal with first. Of 
Okay, so let's start here with these two. Ooh, we have Justice and the Eight of Pentacles. Exciting. So we start here with the Justice card. And Justice is a milestone card that speaks about um, big karmic moments. Justice, obviously, that could be legal matters, legal energy for some of you if that resonates. It also talks about fairness, equality, balance. Balance, your sores are balanced. And it's also what big moments of karma, like um, like mad, like lifetime of karma, like uh, from past lives, I mean. So this is also what you reap, you, uh, you, you sow what you reap. So with this energy, it's saying that maybe something is about to come back around for you that happened in the past. What goes around comes around is very much a phrase to go with the Justice card as well. So we begin this message for you, this Tarot Talks message for you with balance, fairness, karmic energy returning to you, and with fairness. And then after that, we have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is a beautiful card. It talks about mastering your skills on a physical level, level mastering your abilities, your talents, your hobbies on a physical level. This is that, that passion, that craft, that practice you have that you're just pouring all your love into, all your attention into, all your intention into, all your energy into, and you've been doing for your that for so long now that you're getting to a point where you're a master of that craft, that practice, that ability, that talent, because you've invested all this energy into it. And there might be multiple things that are making you want to just devote yourself to that. And that is a calling from your heart to follow if there is something in your life that you're like, I really just want to dive deep into this topic, this subject, this practice and just really get to know about it. That could be a key to your happiness on a lifelong purpose, full level. And then we have these two tarot cards here, which are, which will show you what infinite and changeable energies are surrounding you right now. Ooh, we have courage and schizophrenia. So we have courage. And the message that I hear from this card is have the courage to plant yourself and grow where your heart is calling you, even if it feels like it is impossible because even from impossible odds, this hard rock, beauty and life can grow and you can also grow from impossible odds as well. And we also have this card, which is the, the Two of Clouds, Schizophrenia, which I'll just say, it may not necessarily mean the mental, uh, the mental ailment of schizophrenia for you. What this means, more generally speaking, is when you feel torn between two things in your mind. It's being at that that place of being at the, uh, the saying, being stuck between a rock and a hard place. And that might happen in your mind where you, you're ping-ponging in your thoughts with two different, almost um, more negative concepts or perceptions, and you almost feel like you're balanced, trying to keep both of them in line. Actually, it's interesting looking at these two cards together because we have this guy, he almost looks like a seed precariously attached to both of those. And then we have this and the flower is growing from a crevice in the stone. So take courage. Know that even from impossible situations, impossible odds, even if you're fighting with yourself in your mind, with your thoughts, your perceptions, the way you act and perceive things, that beauty and health and abundance and prosperity can grow from any situation and any energy type and any experience and 
of mindset. And then from there, we have the oracle card to show you what is the best way for you to work your light into this energy, into this situation, and this experience. And we have the energy card of play, have fun, celebrate, and don't be so serious. Play. Beautiful. It is time to play. It is time to play with your passions and your skills and your abilities and really dive into them and have fun with it. Allow the karma that needs to come back to you to do so in a way and have courage through the situation. And allow yourself to bloom and grow and have fun and play and adventure through this change that you're going through, this this comeback around that is uh, potentially into your life right now. Play. And in this card, this character, she's inviting you to lounge with her and just relax and it looks like a glass of champagne. So, the message I just received when I looked at that card again is, is every victory, no matter how small, deserves to be celebrated. So say you've, this is just the example that came to mind, I used to bite my nails a lot to the point where I would bite my nails so much that my, my pinky finger would start to tingle and, and I was able to stop and that was something to be celebrated. So even if it's a, like a, a small habit or perception of way of acting that doesn't feel like it's anything big to you, but it's finally left your life, then celebrate it. That is something worth celebrating. Every victory is worth celebrating and giving yourself a pat on the back for and telling yourself that you love yourself and you're proud of it. So allow that, that, that celebration, that playfulness of knowing like, yeah, I did do a good job. I am proud of myself. You know, that is what will, and that can take courage too, to tell yourself you're proud of yourself, to actually celebrate what needs to be celebrated, what deserves to be celebrated. Okay, and then we have your self-care card. Ooh, the self-care card of Sovereign. And it says, you are the queen of your life. Treat yourself like royalty. Yes. 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 You are the queen of, or king, ruler of your life. Treat yourself like royalty. You are the only one living your own perception, having your thoughts, doing what you do. You are the ruler, the master, the creator of it. That is something you can have fun to play with, that you can celebrate. A sovereign master of your tasks, your responsibilities, your passions, your ambitions, your studies, your pursuits. And you know when you, when you invest so much time and energy and knowledge and expand an aspect of your life, like an ability or a skill or a talent, it, it can feel like you're kind of like, do I stay or do I go? Like, what if you have to, like, say no to some people because you're just so invested? And that can take courage to be in that place where you have to be like, sorry, I can't come out tonight. I, I really just want to finish this study. I really just want to dive in and continue my practice, that will come back around to bless you in your life. And you are the sovereign ruler of that. The authority over yourself. Alright, the last thing I'm going to do for you, pile three, is just see what messages the fairies have for you. 
with this deck, the, uh, each card has a little phrase on the bottom of it, and that's how I tune in to what message the fairies have for us. So I'm just going to shuffle it and see what they have to say. And it says, find or be a mentor, take a break from society, uh, commitment to your spiritual growth. So a commitment to your spiritual growth, maybe the part of you that's asking to be worked on, to be mastered at this moment is some form of spiritual practice or spiritual growth for you. And then we have the moon. And it says on the bottom of this card, powerful intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. That is a message that makes me think of this schizophrenia card so much because what if what this being is trapped in between of holding on for dear life is worry and fear. And maybe they're afraid to just let themselves fall into the unknown because they're so used to balancing like that. Well, I feel like you're about to have some pretty powerful epiphanies and realizations hit you with this spiritual growth and study that you're gonna do. And it might let you see this situation, this energy, this experience more clearly that you're in. And from there you might feel the strength to just release and let it go and let yourself fall into the unknown and be held by the universe and letting yourself just release and let go and just fall into what may be below those things takes a lot of courage as well and then we have the king of autumn and it says compassion compassionate accomplished charismatic and gifted And on the back of the card, or not on the back of the card, on the bottom it says, be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. You are the queen of your life, the ruler of your life, the king of your life, and you are sovereign of your life. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right, everything going your way a good person or company to work for. Ooh, exciting. So, every possibility changes when you allow yourself to step into your full power, to embrace your spirit and your soul and open your heart to dive into what you love, receive what you deserve, Play and celebrate all your wins and successes, no matter how small your mind may be telling you, no matter if your mind is telling you to fear and worry and doubt. Celebrate your successes. Know that you are strong, you are safe, and you are provided for, and you can let go of the worry and the fear that you may be holding on to, that maybe you feel is supporting you, so you can let it go and fall into the arms of the universe where all the providence is, and you can have the courage to know that in this situation, there's people surrounding you that will support you. There's energy surrounding you and the universe surrounding you that will support you and love you. Pile three, so sorry about that. My memory card seems to wanna really be a part of these readings today and I might have received a download for you while I was uploading a, a videos onto my computer because all of a sudden I was at like nine minutes and I was like, Bam! 20 minutes! And I was like, holy smokes, suddenly 20 minutes! And 
and I was like, well, the videos are longer, and so, I don't know, I just had this, this message that it was, that I felt like potentially you're in this situation or around these energies right now where things are taking a little longer than you thought they might be, and it can feel like maybe going from point A to point B is making you feel kind of stretched thin over those two time spans from beginning to end and just know that you can take courage and allow yourself to just be present in those moments and each one of those are a gift that could help you develop your skills more and just find balance and fairness and trust in your situation and let you be sovereign in your reality. That is my reading for you, Pile 3. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you, uh, what am I even saying? I don't even know. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your patience with my memory card. Thank you for tuning into my readings. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you again at the other end of my tarot table. Thank you so much. Namaste. Hello, group four, my carnelian friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we have a tarot talks video and, and here we have a self-care card that I will get into at the end of the reading. I'm just gonna put it there for now. I have two tarot cards and two, uh, sorry, two groups of two tarot cards, four in total. And I have an oracle card here. Let's see, oh, this goes like this, actually. Let's see what messages we have from tarot starting here we have ooh the seven of wands and the four of wands that's a positive reading seven of wands the seven of wands talks about having the high ground in a situation or an experience in your life it's a place of being divinely protected, like this character is in the card. She has this orb, this energy of protection and support around her, and she is free to feel like she is calm, she is supported, because she is, she is supported. It's almost like those wands trying to get at her from below are actually helping her lift up. And that is also another form of protection that you can use for yourself, is that even when you feel like there might be someone poking you or a situation or energy poking you a little bit, you can almost take it and use it for your advantage. You have the high ground in the situation and from there nothing can really get at you or harm you when you're in that type of mind frame and uh, situational energy. And then from there we have... Oop. <laughs> Four of Wands, which is another awesome card. And the Four of Wands is a card that talks about stability and a good foundation and structure in your home life and your routines and your abilities, your passions, your ambitions. Same with the Seven of Wands with passions and ambitions. There's protected and safe as well. And you can feel safe to dance and celebrate and have fun and connect and commune with people in that strong foundation, stable home life uh, you've created for yourself. And it's interesting putting these cards together. It's like the wisps of energy from this card seem to almost feed into the seven with little dots down here. And then we have these two tarot cards, which will show you potentially the infinite and changeable energies that you have around you. And we have, ooh, trust and abundance. Wow, that is incredible. We start with trust. So this is a free-for-all, free-for-all, 
free fall form of trust. This is, this is like, you've just let it all go. You've just let yourself leap into the unknown and now you're just in the free fall. And you just trust that you will be caught, that you will be safe, that you'll be provided, that you will have abundance around you and you will be provided for and safe and have abundance around you. Wow. That is speaking for itself and there's even a rainbow in this card which is a physical form of a miracle from the universe. So trust that you've created this strong foundation for your home life and that you're protected and safe from anything that may be poking or jabbing you and that abundance is yours. And from there we can go into this oracle card to see how you can best work your own personal light into this energy and situation. And we have dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Dance with life, dance with this situation, dance with the free fall, flow like you're underwater as you know you'll be safe and caught in divine timing and abundance will be there for you. All right, this is your self-care card. We have, ooh, peace. Just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend their performance. Make your life a drama-free zone. There's people that are trying to stir up drama in your life. You can just dance around that energy. I mean, it might sweep by you, you might feel it breeze by, but if you just dance and flow around it, then you can, you can almost observe it without having to interact with it. And you can trust that you do not need to be pulled into other people's drama plays and toxicity, and that you are safe and that there are jabs are not going to. I just heard gossip in my head, so if that's something that is um, plaguing, plaguing you right now, that's wearing you down, trust that you are safe and guided, and then even though they might feel like they are getting, getting you with what their w words might be, their actions are only lowering them and raising you up. And you can choose where to shine your light. This is the work your light oracle tire. Uh, this is a self-care, but this is work your light. And you can choose to work your own light into how, how you want to see this perspective. I'm just going to pull one card from here. It is a fairy tarot deck with messages on the bottom of it. Just to see what direct message the fairies have for you. I already feel this one. I'm just going to go with it. Seven of Winter. There is a better choice, not seeing things clearly, running away from the truth. Mm. So sometimes when we are surrounded by things that feel like they're poking at us and trying to get under our skin, it can feel easy to... to choose a perspective or an action that is a more of a reaction to the situation than a response to it where if you just you know go within this woman is in a state of meditation in the seven of wands and dance your way through the situation flow with it trust that what is going on around you doesn't have anything to do with you as so much as it has to do with the the people the situation, the energy surrounding you that might be feeling like it's doing the poking. I'm gonna just take one more card. I feel this one. Princess of Summer. 
gentle, sensitive, kind, and inexperienced. A new relationship or emotional experience. Invitations to social events. Compassionate friend can share your concerns with. That is beautiful. So, dance around the situations that are causing drama or the people or energies that are causing some drama in your life. Choose to shine your light on happiness. Know there's people you can trust in your life to give you guidance and support. Know that what you're building for yourself is strong and stable and you can take joy in it and know that it's protecting you and you are safe and you're being held up from what you feel might be attacking you or poking at you at this time and that abundance is your birthright. Abundance is your birthright and you can dance in that trust. That is my reading for you, group four. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this resonated with you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I would love it for you to do that if you were feeling called to. It was a pleasure to have you at the other end of my tarot table, and I'll see you in my next video. Namaste.